When you log onto your internet browser, you expect to have full access to the World Wide Web. Pretty much anyone can have a web address and sell their product, brand, or platform to other internet users. This is what's called the open internet or net neutrality. Net neutrality essentially has to do with fair play of transport of internet traffic so that when an end user is requesting something, they get that on a first come, first serve, or first in, first out basis without any kind of mitigation or of that traffic being subject to any kind of pricing game or, or preferential treatment. This is the way the internet has operated for almost 20 years. In that time, the Federal Communications Commission has developed regulations for the web, which have changed over time. The current chairman of the FCC, Ajit Pai, introduced a new plan in May of 2017 to evaluate the current rules of internet freedom. Pi proposes that the FCC classify broadband internet as an information service, a designation first established during the Clinton administration, and decrease legal regulations on internet service providers. Many members of the public and politicians have opposed the plan, saying it would reduce or get rid of net neutrality altogether. U.S. Senator Gary Peters is one of those opposed to Pi's plan. If net neutrality goes away, Peters said larger communications companies could charge more money for individuals to have a faster internet connection or favor for the activity of some web users over others. The internet was built on equal access to everybody, and it's been an incredible, incredible thing for folks. Uh, but once we start then saying some people will be treated more equal than others, uh, we start moving away from what's important to, to the, with the internet. One of his main focuses as a senator has been to provide internet access to those even in the most remote areas of Michigan. We are working very hard to get internet access and high-speed internet access to everybody. And just at a time when we're trying to make sure that it's available for everybody, we have the FCC really pushing a rule right now that's going to make it harder for people to have equal access to the Internet. The location of the Upper Peninsula makes it difficult for bigger Internet service providers to succeed, but there are ways for residents to still have Internet access. Peninsula Fiber Network is a local, deregulated entity that sells Internet service to corporations, 911 sectors, and many Internet service providers in the UP, downstate Michigan, and Wisconsin. PFN is the backbone Internet provider for Barriga Telephone Company and Hiawatha Communications, who then deliver Internet access to thousands of residents. The structure of the internet has changed over time, and the business of providing internet has followed suit. The majority of traffic flow is now from streaming services, which requires more bandwidth to maintain the consumer's internet experience. So the industry in general right now is trying to find a, a solution to the, to, to, the, to the changing structure of internet. And um, uh, the bandwidth per capita utilization is, is, is increasing explosively, basically, uh, much more than we ever ex experienced before. The three companies currently do not restrict what consumers do with their internet service, and the companies are not looking to change that, although it is unclear how Pi's proposal will impact their customers. We, we want to give a, a broadband pipe to the end user and let them get whatever network services uh, they would like uh, without restricting or... Uh, now, that said, you know, we don't know how it's going to play out um, you know, across the whole country. The business plans may change. They may see some types of changes in terms of delivery. They may see other options available to them. They may see some costs with some types of service that they buy from their content providers. So maybe they'll see a different cost from Netflix, or maybe they'll see a different cost from Amazon. We don't know that yet. But in terms of our network, there will be no change to the end user customer. They'll see no change from us. The FCC will vote on Pi's proposal on December 14th. Reporting in Ishpeming, I'm Alyssa Lambert for ABC 10 and The CW5.